feeling like this huge burden is coming off of your shoulders. And rightfully so, Libra, because when you're in balance, when you're in balance, when you're in balance, there is no limit to what you can manifest and attract. Welcome, my beautiful, lucky Libras, to your weekly love tarot reading. And this reading will be for January 4th through January 10th, 2021. Happy New Year to you. If there is anything that you're looking to manifest this new year, go ahead and affirm it in the comments below, speaking out into the universe what you wish to receive back. It wouldn't be right not to first. Tap that heart chakra frequency to commence your love reading. Let's get into it, Libras. I'm feeling feisty today. I hope this reading finds you well. Now, if there is a specific person or situation that you are wishing to receive clarification on, go ahead and begin to visualize now. Ooh, you may even go as far as to say their name aloud or write it down on a piece of paper getting very clear about the messages that you're wishing to receive. All right, spirit, please show my Libras what it is that they need to see. I almost had a pop out. That one wants to come. I'm feeling it. Please show my Libras what it is that they need to see in matters of love and of the heart. Beautiful. We'll take another from the top, one from the bottom, and that'll be the three for your energy. And now we will pull for your partner's energy. <laughs> All right, Libras. Yes, 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 yes. All right, please show my Libras what it is that they need to see. Some funky shuffles. The weirder the shuffle, the juicier the read. It's just, you know, that's the precedent. Please show my Libras what it is that they need to see. All right, two from the top for your person's energy, one from the bottom. Lastly here, you will get a special message from the beautiful Lover's Oracle deck. I really need to invest in one of those um, sheets or spreads so that you don't get so much feedback when I shuffle. Apologies. All right. Please show my beautiful, beautiful Libras, lucky Libras, what they need to see in regards to their situation or person. If none play out, I'll take last card. Wow. repeat messages. I did a Taurus video before this and you both had the same message. And Libra and Taurus, you might be dealing with a Taurus or some of you have a strong attraction towards a Taurus or you have strong Taurus in your chart. Yeah, Taurus and Libra, check that out, okay? <laughs> so beginning with your energy, we have the nine of wands. The Nine of Wands, Libra. You may have been seeing lately a lot of 333, uh, paying attention to nu numerology, to synchronicities. These are divine messages coming to you from your spirit guides, from your angels. And this is a beautiful card to start the reading with because although you may be in your head about which direction to go in next, this is just a confirmation that no matter what you do, you are supported by the universe. Um, <clears throat> balance on all sides of you. For some of you, your lucky number may be four. Yes. And I also, when I see this card, I think of shooting your shot, okay? 
Some of you are putting the feelers out, just as Libras do. Libras are very good at, at juggling multiple projects, sometimes multiple people when they're, when they're still in that immature phase of being indecisive, of course, um, known for being a little flirty. But this is kind of like you're putting a lot of feelers out there in one area of your life, whether that be love or career. And the universe is letting you know that you are supported, not only supported, but that one of these are going to land bullseye for you. Maybe you've just started a new business and I'm loving this energy because then you move into the ultimate pentacles, okay? The happiest, most fruitful pentacles in the, in the deck. The 10 of pentacles, from the nine of wands to the 10 of pentacles. You at this moment, or in the very new, near future, are going to finally receive that financial stability that you've been wishing for. Maybe for some of you, that's what you're affirming in the comments below. Um, and it's so beautiful because it took you a bit of time in your head of wondering which direction to go into, and you finally put your foot down. You went with it full force ahead. I like to think of the chariot. And you manifested this Ten of Pentacles. How, how beautiful, Libra. And now for the last card in your energy, the Nine of Cups, once again with the Nine. Nine, ten, nine. Three, three, three. So yes, uh, <laughs> things are just coming into alignment for you. This can be in matters of love, career, and finance. I'm, I'm getting that, you know, all your ducks in a row. A lot of you Libras may have been procrastinating about some things like teeth cleaning or a pap smear. <laughs> um, and <laughs> you took care of all of these things or you're taking care of them as the New Year's beginning. And it's feeling like this huge burden is coming off of your shoulders. And rightfully so, Libra, because when you're in balance... When you're in balance, when you're in balance, there is no limit to what you can manifest and attract. Moving into your person's energy, they first presented with this inverse eight of wands, almost like they're trying to manifest you. They're, oops, they're shooting their shot, okay? They might have shoot their shot and it didn't quite land. It's kind of going down. Because normally, this Eight of Wands, like I'm shooting for the stars. Your person may be feeling defeated for some reason. They may be feeling as though they're headed in the wrong direction. Or they may have said something recently to you that is just unforgivable. And you know how us Libras do. There is no argument. There are no harsh words exchanged. We will ghost you so fast that you'll never hear from us again. And that's how you know you did us dirty. <laughs> Eight of, okay, let's move forward. <clears throat> Beautiful. So after your person was kind of in their head feeling like they didn't do a good job in trying to manifest you, then in comes the infinity sign, the two of pentacles. This person may be your partner in matters of finance or business. If they're not, um, this person is someone that you also just work well with together. Not only is this going to be amazing intimacy, sex, let me just say it. Not only is the sex going to be fiery, passionate, and amazing, but it's like when the two of you link up, I'm, see I'm getting twin flames here. When the two of you link up, the possibilities are infinite beautiful tour i'm sorry libra i keep thinking about that taurus <laughs> then lastly for your person's energy they have the queen of swords so your person is presenting as this feminine energy please remember these are not gender specific aside from me saying paps me um these are all energies masculine feminine so regardless of if your person is a man or a woman they are presenting as a warrior but in this queen divine feminine energy they may be watching you from afar and that could be why this eight of wands is inverse that makes so much sense some of you this person's watching you from a, from a long distance this may be your person and they're on a business trip on tour um 
or you met them on online and you haven't actually met in person yet, which is why all this fire is there. Everything's coming into alignment. Maybe they're flying in to see you soon, Libra. I hope this goes so well for you because your person is a bit on guard, but they're a warrior. They're watching you, everything you do. So be mindful of that, Libra, on your social media. If you don't want them to see something, don't share it because they're watching. They probably have their post notifications turned on for you. All right, lastly here, <clears throat> for your message from the Lover's Oracle deck, specific to your person or situation, and on the back it reads, My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united, for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Wow, this is a beautiful message and it's come about twice now. Definitely a long distance situation or someone who just maybe they said they're going to leave their person and they just didn't or they're going through it with that person trying to prepare themselves for you. Regardless, there is some type of physical obstruction but spiritually and on your minds, you're both vibrating at the same frequency. I would be so interested in seeing where this leads. If this video resonated with you, beautiful Libras, please let me know how in the comments below. If you're interested in diving deeper with a personal private reading with Black Bunny Tarot, you can find all of the information to book me in the description box. Of course, if this reading did not resonate whatsoever, you're like, what is this crazy chick talking about? Um, I do urge you to check your moon and your rising signs and go ahead and check out those videos as well because this is a general love reading. So take the messages that resonate with you and leave the ones, the other ones for someone who may be needing it. Lovely, lucky, sassy, fiery Libras. I am sending you into the new year with all of the success, love, and confidence that you deserve. Namaste. Please bring, Please bring positivity, positivity into my life. Into my life.